Hello everybody, welcome to a fabulous live show here at highlightcrafts.com. Now, of course, it isn't just Highlight Crafts on our website, but we've also got our amazing academy. So we're all about education inspiration, but today I have got some deals from you. Now, we are just fresh back from Glasgow and there I had a watercolour deal. It sold out really, really quickly and I'm bringing you something really exciting exciting because I've got a deal for you it's got a class attached to it and um, I've also got some candle painting I know you guys have been waiting for it I've got the candle painting in fact I can't wait I've got to show you look at this this is new candle paint and guess what you can do you can paint like this on it and if that wasn't enough look at this one how gorgeous are these? This I've got candle painting for you. I'm going to demonstrate that. And I've also got goodie bags. Don't know what's in them. I'm saving that. Diana's brought them through. I've got three examples of them. I'm going to be sharing those with you as well. So hello to everybody who's just joined us. Um, you're all saying hello to me. Thank you so much. Angie, hi, how are you? Lots of love, hope the weather's lovely out there. Um, and thank you for joining. Right, let's talk about this first bundle. Now, it's a pretty big one and it's got some special stuff in it as well. Now we've got um, a huge, huge saving because I think the thing about this is not just what you're getting, but what you can do with it. So you're gonna save 85 pounds and 96 pence. That's massive. So in here, we have got our transfer paper. In fact, I'm telling you what I'm gonna show you. Just remember you're saving 85 pounds. So palette paper, I'm going to talk, I get the chance to talk about these things in a bit more detail, but you're going to get 35 sheets of palette paper and this is what it is. And if you haven't ever used this before, can I just say, just get, even if you only buy the pad on its own, get some of this paper because it's brilliant. I want to also explain, it does have a right and wrong side. So on this side, you can see it's really, really shiny. On the other side, it's still shiny, but not as much. The shiny side is the right side. It also very slightly curls up on the right side. That's the side we mix our paint in and our paint. And do you know when I'm mixing my paint, even my candle paints, it's so much easier if it's on here. I'm still using my waste packaging but I'm doing so many classes at the moment that we're running out of packaging. I found this palette paper. It's helping me with my painting. I hope it does the same for you. It's a must have. So that's included in the bundle. Now, graphite paper. You're going to get two, re well, first of all, you got four sheets and then nine by 13 inches. So they're huge. I've just taken one and this one's been torn in half. And look at how many times it's been used. I mean, I've used it literally hundreds of times and I'm gonna be using that in my demonstration. So once you've got your graphite paper, it comes in black and white. We've got black in this bundle. You're gonna be able to actually use it again and again and again. Right, paints. These are watercolors. These are not from Cadence, but we've got the chance to bring you this really fabulous Japanese watercolor that is amazing. And in this palette, you're gonna get these. So what you've got is, let me just put this piece out. You've got a color chart. So each one of these corresponds with the matching thing. So put a little bit of water across each of them and then take the color. And what you'll see me do is I'll take a little bit of the color from here and I'll mark it into there so you can see how strong the color is. Clean down your brush so that you've got a nice clean brush to take the next color. So I work with two brushes and be able to put that in. So build up your own color chart. I love the fact that we've got things like grass green, olive green, hyacinth violet. It actually talks to you about colors that we recognize. And you're getting all of these lovely metallics and you've got the fluorescence, but these are so bright. They look great. A little, just a little tip of it really works well with what we're doing. 
Right, I'm just going to put a little bit more water in each of these because I'm going to be demonstrating this for you. And then our brushes. Now, our Painting Perfection brushes are back in stock. We've got these actually in this bundle. These would normally, in fact, just as, a, as to let you know that these would be $24.99. These would be $24.99. So that's £50. And I still haven't finished going through what's included in the pack. So although I've used these for my acrylics, I found they are superb for painting with watercolours. We're not having to use sable, which is incredibly expensive in my opinion. What you've got here is a really good quality brush. Can't wait to show you what you can do with that. This is collection volume five. Now there are 24 printed designs here. That means over 60 images. And I'm just gonna open it up and show you. And then I want to mention the class that I've got with this because I've actually got three classes and I'm gonna be taking you through as many of these different images and painting them with you as I possibly can. Look at the different sizes and compositions. This is for your card making, this is for your canvases. And you're getting all of these included in this. Now I'm gonna be showing you, I love the sweet peas, how we're going to work with this with the graphite paper. Hello everybody for joining, thank you. It's a pleasure to have your company. And um, I'm also then gonna be sharing with you how to make the most painting these images as watercolours. So we're not just going to be painting them and using the techniques that you're used to with our acrylics, but we're actually gonna be going into something quite new. And I'm gonna be showing you my technique that I use when I paint with watercolour. So keep on going, because there's more and you're getting all of those included. So that's our little pack of patterns. And you know what I found? A lot of people aren't just using these for painting. They're using them as embroidery patterns. They're treating it as like digital stamping. So another thing to consider. Then I've got this watercolor card. Now it's a 300 GSM cold pressed watercolor card that's so well packaged, it doesn't want to let me in. But let's just open this pack. Um, it's not having it, is it? It will. Um, so Andrew just had the idea of using the end of a paintbrush, which I did, but neither end works because it is so fantastically packaged that Ah, ha ha, I'm in. So, here we go. So, oh gosh, I love this paper. So, it is such good quality. Now, cold pressed, 30 sheets, A4 in size and 300 GSM. And listen to this. That is fantastic. So included in this kit, you are going to get your watercolour pad that would normally be $24.99. You're going to get your palette paper. You're going to get your painting brushes. You're going to get your palette of paints. You're going to get your um, graphite paper and you're going to get 24 sheets of patterns. And you're also going to get your class. What a great way of you being able to create fantastic savings and the club members were under 60 pounds. Right, let's do a demonstration for you. So I've taken one of those A4 sheets and I've cut it in half because I'm actually painting card fronts at the moment. This is my set of paints and all I've done is put a little bit of color, um, sorry, of water in some of the colors that I want to use. Now, I'd recommend right at the beginning that you take your brushes, you go into the colour, pick up some of that colour and load it so that you can see what those colours are because it makes it very, very easy to see when you've got each of the colours lined up just there. 
The next thing we're going to use is our transfer paper. And that is going to go on top of the design. But I just want to show you what happens. Even if you lightly touch this, you will be left with a mark on your page. So don't touch it until you're ready to transfer the design. And then I'm going to go into one of the designs and I'm going to use this sweet pea. And you'll notice these have actually already got some lines on them because I've been tracing them. So our angel policy is such that when you get this home, please photocopy them or trace them into your computer, um, scan them into your computer, because I want you to be able to use these again and again and again. So you buy them once and use them hundreds of times. It's not about having to buy them lots and lots of times. You literally, even if you're taking classes, then please copy them so that you've got them for your class. And you'll see I'm using a different coloured pen so I can see where I've been and I'm getting that outline on my design. And then when you've finished, that's what you're going to see. So we're now ready to do some painting. But to do that, I'm going to work with my palette paper and I'm going to work with my brushes. So here's my palette pad like to fold over the top because it makes it nice and neat to work with. And look how, how compact this is. So then I'm going to start off with a number 12 brush. And I'm just looking at the size of this design and checking the size of my brush. And I'll go into that in a lot more detail when we actually do the class itself. But let's start off by putting in these little flowers. So I picked up a little corner of the purple and a little corner of that cerise and I'm just going to put it backwards and forwards on my pad now I'm dipping my brush in water and that's pretty much unheard of when you see me painting because I don't normally do that don't worry about the sissing that's where we get these little bubbles and it little it, it separates that's absolutely fine because look what happens when i just trace the outside of the design so all i'm doing is just tracing the very outside so i'm using the outside edge of my brush to trace the image that i'm working on and i'm using my palette paper to mix it and then if you want to go back and put extra color in obviously you can do just that but what I'd like you to also notice is I haven't wet the card and that's important because it keeps means that I keep my control with my brush when I'm working so I've still got that lovely blending that you get with watercolors I'm still getting the shading and the coloring that we want. And I've got this lovely, lovely effect here. Now, I am not a watercolor artist, just so you know. You guys, you know I work with acrylics and watercolors always scared me a little bit because it does its own thing. But what I've found is that if you do it with dry card, you can get this lovely effect with it. And it's so, so friendly to work with. It's really, really easy. So don't forget, if you'd like to leave a comment or ask any questions, please do. Um, I am live, so I can talk to you. I've got the lovely Andrew in um, the gallery with me. I'm going to be back at 6 p.m. So I've just put in that little bit of watercolour. Look how quick that was to do. And it's, um, it's literally, I'm still putting two colours on my brush, but I'm using it and I make, look at how little paint I'm using as well, guys. Isn't that just so good for so many of you that hate that waste of paint? So I've just dipped into the yellow to get that green just where I want it. And I'm just going to put that little bit of green up here. 
So we're just going to let it bleed a little tiny bit. But I also, I'm coming down here and look at how I've still got my brush really vertical. And I can't wait in the classes because I've got literally hours of tuition for you where I'm going to be sharing ideas and different designs, how to make the most of the pages that you've got here. And if, you know, we are going to be, um, I think, Andrew, is there any reason why we can't give um, this picture away? So if you would like to comment on the bottom of this video, then what we'll do is we'll do, we'll do a little giveaway and we'll give away in the, in the six o'clock hour. So we'll, t and then I'll do the same in the six o'clock hour. So can you see how I'm putting in those, those um, little tendrils and let's get these in. Right, this is a really good example of how this works. So the outside edge is gonna trace the outside of that line. So it just traces it like that. And then I'm gonna turn this over and literally pull it in like that. And then you can see here up there. Now, if you've already got these brushes, then obviously, you know, you're just gonna need the paints. So you can get the paints on their own. You can get the class on its own. And we've also got a link in the description of the video. So that'll take you to the paints on their own. And they're not cadence, they're a Japanese um, quality. And I do absolutely love the results that I'm getting with them. So you can see how quick that was to create this design. Now I'm gonna go into my brushes and this is why, you know, having a few different brushes is really useful into this puddle of paint. So I'm literally just rolling the brush in the puddle that I've got there. And then right on the tip of the brush, I'm gonna come out and I'm just gonna put some little curly cues in. Because of course, watercolors have these um, lovely delicate touches to them, but sweet peas in particular have these little tendrils. And there we go, there is our little painting. So just, I'm just gonna sign this painting and we'll do that giveaway. So just pop your details below and we will get this made into um, a little card front and we'll give it away in the 6 p.m. show. So there you go, how cute is that lovely design? So quick and easy to do. So I'm just going to remind you of what you're actually getting in this kit. And do you know, £85.96 is the saving. You're literally spending £58.49. Remember, you can use ClearPay, you can use PayPal, um, pay in three, and you get the chance to be able to literally use your um, Highlight Club points and collect points at the same time. Right. Now I want to show you, while I've got my paints here, I want to show you this candle painting because it is stunning. And this Cadence candle paint is superb. So first of all, look at the way that David has stenciled this. And I'm just gonna roll it so you can see that graduated texture that he's created on here. Let me share with you another couple. Here's another one. Look at that, that's that again, stunning. Um, one where maybe you've got candles at home and they don't match your decor. You can actually paint them and look at how good the quality is. Yes, you can burn the candles. They're designed for that. I want to show you some of these. These are little floating candles. I think they look super, super cute. I mean, just adorable. And what a transformation from that to that. Looks so much more expensive. Right, let's take a look at the actual candle paints and see what you're getting for your money. It is a 
lovely, lovely collection of colours. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Sue. It's good to have your company. Right, I've got here a lovely blank candle. And I'm going back to my palette paper and I'm going to be working with my flat brushes. Then my candle paint. So it comes in a, um, this is a 120 mil bottle. I'm just, a oh, 50 mil bottle, I beg your pardon. 50 mil bottle. We've got some absolutely stunning colors and you've got them and they mix and match beautifully. So I'm gonna work with these three colors. And I'm going to start off by putting a little bit of it onto my palette. Now it's quite liquid. So just be careful when it comes out, be ready for it because you don't need a huge amount. And it goes a long way. I'm just thinking we're gonna get some great results with this. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is you'll be noticing that my brushes are going into a brush basin. That's also available on the website. I'm just gonna get this started flowing. And then they're a little bit cold because they've been in the back of the car. Oops, there we go. They don't bleed um, together. They, they literally will stay separate colours. We've got them in bundles of four. Oh, 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 oh. Um, they do come with a little candle or you can get them individually. Now, to be good, you've never seen me do this before, have you? But look how easily that goes back into the bottle. Look at that. I'm absolutely happy to say that I've saved all that paint. It's gone back into the bottle and my brush is now primed, ready for me to pick up the second colour. So any of you that are doing any kind of decorative painting, you're going to love this. Look at how it glides onto the candle. Isn't that just stunning just gonna put so i'm going with the dark green and the gold and i'm not over blending on my palette so i'm letting i'm just literally one or two strokes but i just love it so creamy it's so metallic it looks so gorgeous And we've got all the candle paints on the link for you. So everything's on the same page. Look at that, it's stunning. Right, now, another reason you need multiple brushes because I'm now going to use a second color. I'm gonna use um, the Bright Fuchsia and the Gold, put these two together here just beautiful and I'm just going to go up and over round and under and I'm just going to put these little buds in so <clears throat> with acrylic and this technique I use a lot more paint with this I'm using a lot less and I'm also painting in a slightly different order so I'm laying down the first color waiting for that to just dry the tiniest little bit so I'm just gonna get that a little bit dry and then laying the second one on top. So I've got a really good, strong finish to my paint. There you go. Look at how lovely those buds are. Then we're just gonna go round the outside edge. So again, just a tiny bit, lay that green in. If you really want to get layers of paint, then just wait till the first layer is dry, just the tiniest little bit. And it then is very, very forgiving. I'm gonna do a slightly different rose because I'm gonna be painting wet on wet. So I'm just going to just do a lovely, pretty little flower here. So you can see that I've got this color, the pink in the middle and that gold on the outside edge. Just putting in that color. 
like that. I'm going to take the pink into the middle. So I've got it all decorative. And then I'm going into my green. And I'm just going to put a few tiny little dots of my candle paint into the middle to get me the texture that we're looking for just there. I'm going to lift this up and let you see how that metallic luster is working. And it really just looks stunning. So lifting this right up, you're going to see there the colours if I put them together and I bring in some more samples so that you can see the effects that you're going to get. But I actually think that looks pretty stunning. And if you wanted to, just to roll her round the bottom of there or take just a little bit of cut and use foam, which I've got here. So I'm just gonna take this one and just show you this little technique. I've got a little bit of the pink and a little bit of the green. So I've got pink and green on the bottom of my sponge. And I'm gonna let the pink go that way, the green go that way, and then I'm gonna change it to the pink and let the pink go and then the green and the green go. Just blend in those colours as you can see. Just take that round the bottom of the candle and just finish off that texture so you can see how you can get that lovely metallic luster round the bottom to create a band as well. So it's just the most exquisite paint to work with. I just think that if you've got this in your stash of paints to work with, then you can literally get any of your candles and just give them a makeover. What a great way of being able to do that. And don't forget everybody, you've got your club highlight points that you're collecting when you're shopping, but you also are getting the chance to spend them as well on your favorite goodies. Oh, and look at that one, wow. Oh, I need those. Imagine how much cheaper it's going to be buying plain white candles and then decorating them whatever colour you want. Perhaps you're actually going to sell them, bundle them up and sell them. That'd be another good thing to consider. Right, let's take a look at the next thing that I've got for you. So your candle paints, the details are there on the screen coming up for you in just a moment. If you would like to get these, we've put them as individuals, but we've also put them as little bundles. So you've got a bargain. Our painting collection, our watercolour painting bundle is there for you. And I've also asked them to put that class in separately so that you can join me. It's going to be three to four hours of painting, three separate classes where I'm going to be teaching you lots to do with the watercolour. Now I've got something else. So Diane's brought me in some goodie bags. Now, I'm not quite sure what's in them yet. Oh, nice and heavy. Look, you can see they're... Oh. <laughs> they are heavy. Um, let's have a look at the kind of thing that you might get in a goodie bag if you were to go for one of these and pop it in your basket. Well, why wouldn't you? Are you ready? Here we go. This is what we're getting. Now, um, I'm not even telling you what the pro. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, so I've got glitter paint. I've got icy snow paste. I've got artsy stones. I've got um, some Dora 3D. Oh my gosh, handy. Then I've got my Dora finger wax. And two lot. Oh, and look, look at these colours. Look at how they've made sure all the colours go together. How good is that? Oh, whoops, right. I'm going to pop this one away. That's an example of one of the goodie bags. Right, I'm just checking to see what we've done with the price because I know what I think it should be, but I'm not going to say it because I think they should be about... 35, 39 pounds, something like that. 
I'm going to just check with you. So we've got Handy. That's about nine quid. The Snow Paste is about another, well, I reckon that's about 15, 18, 20, 25. This, about 60 quid here. Um, no, actually. Um, and what is the price? No. $24.99. Are we limited to how many people can buy? Oh, I love that. I love that finger wax. Okay, I think we're going to try and make every single bag different. Um, but I'm hoping you'll always get some finger wax. You'll always get a handy. What a great way of trying lots of different products. That Dora is lovely. That 3D. Um, guess what? £25. £25. Um, do you know, we've, had, we've got some of you being very busy shopping and Stephanie Best. Oh, hello, Stephanie. Um, she's just ordered all the candle paints and the watercolour kit. I can't wait to see you on my class. Congratulations. Right. That's another one of those. Wow. I've got one more to show you. So you are going to get the equivalent in one of these of over £60 worth, but I'm, and let me just move these, oh gosh, they're big, they are quite heavy, um, let's see what's in this, oh nice, oh look at the colour of that, so finger wax, lacquer paint, um, you've got, you see look, again, tried to make it so the colours are complementary, and look at the purples together there, then you've got um, Icy Snow Paste. I love this stuff. It's so, so good for creating texture. And then you've got the Dora 3D and the Mixed Media Artsy Stones. Do you know, another absolute bargain. So there is, I've heard, no restriction on how many you can buy. Um, they are $24.99. Um, and over £60 worth, that's just a steal. I would just make sure that you get hold of yours. Right, I'm going to be back at six o'clock and I'm going to be sharing with you some more ideas. Another demonstration on how to make the most of your candle paints. I'm also going to be sharing with you another idea on how to do your watercolours. But what I am going to say to you is, don't wait until then to get your kit. Because I know how many of the watercolour pads we've got left. Until we get some more stock, once they've gone, they're going to be gone. I'm hoping it's going to come in in the next couple of days. But if it doesn't, we could be left waiting. Oh, and a quick little reminder, because I have got a brush basin for you. And I've also got my white graphite paper. That little brush basin, mine, is about to go to good use. So my cut and use foam is in one side. I'm going to give these brushes a little wash um, using the rake on the other side. And I will see you at six o'clock tonight with more demonstrations or I'll see you in that magical watercolour class. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.